Hello, I'm Atuba George, and I'm so grateful to God for this opportunity to bring God's word to you. Now, before going to today's broadcast, let's call for our daily breath. Say this with the Father. I demand right now, and I receive my daily bread. It's coming to me now in Jesus' name. Amen. Man, praise God. And Father, we honor you today. We, we, we open our heart to receive every good thing that you have in store for us. Spirit of the living God, Jesus said you will guide us into all truth. That is exactly what we expect from you today. And I declare right now, every body is removed from your life and every yoke is destroyed in the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes. The burden of death is removed from your life. The yoke of sickness is broken in your life right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If there's any pain in your body right now, I want you to place your hand right there in that place. Because I sense in my spirit, the Spirit of God wants to do something now in your life. Holy Spirit, thank you. I rebuke that pain now. I rebuke that sickness in your body right now and let it leave you now. In Jesus name, be free from it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I command everything, everything that is a yoke on your neck, I command it to break right now because of the anointing of God's spirit that is resting upon you. That chain is broken. The chain, the body of death, it's, it's broken. It is broken in your life right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. You've been hiding from people seeing you. Listen, because God wants to bless you, you can't hide for long. Therefore, in the name of the Lord Jesus, let the anointing of God's spirit rest upon you now. And let that burden be removed. In Jesus' mighty name. You will walk boldly. Yes, you will walk tall. You will be afraid of nothing. Because listen, you will come out of all those debts. You will come out of it. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you. Now, we, I was sharing with you yesterday, how do I start this whole journey? I want to get blessed. I want to walk in God's prosperity. I, I, I'm tired. I want to walk in God's financial intelligence. I want to start seeing how God meets my needs. That's what we're talking about. So how do I do it? I told you yesterday, number one, get an honest pay. Now, maybe you're walking somewhere, but you haven't taken these things I'm, I'm sharing with you seriously. Start it right now. This is the beginning of the month. Your salary is coming in. Your payment is coming in. What do you do? The first thing you must take out of it and listen, listen. It do, you don't do this thing once and just think that, oh, I've done it. It's a lifestyle. And you see, your faith will be confirmed that this is you. The fact that you did something one time doesn't mean you've done it. There, there are people who, who, who started tithing and that got to a point, they just, uh, let me just do this. Let me, and that's how they began to let their guards down. And, and now you ask them, when last did you tithe? Um, it's true. You know, I, I saw a brother a few days, you know, some, not, not, not up to two weeks now. And the Spirit of God just ministered to my spirit that talked to him about his finances. So I called him, I said, what's going on with your finances? And then he was telling me how difficult things have been. And then the Lord dropped it in my head to ask him, now this is someone who listens to me a lot. So I'm like, hey, have you been tight? And he went, sir, honestly, not. I said, why? He said, why? And then he began to say, there will always be excuses. But why would you stop the thing that produces the miracle in the first place? Go back to it. 
And I said, look, because you've not been tithing for long, do this. Find any money you can find right now that is yours. And go before the Lord and repent. Tell him, Lord, I, I bring repentance before you because I've been disobedient where tithing is concerned. And Lord, please have mercy on me. And because I've not been tithing, I, I want to give this as a mark of obedience to you. That I'll begin from hence for to tithe. And then I told him, I said, take that money and be, go before the Lord. Wait till you hear him tell you what to do with that money. You see, you cannot pray to God. This is why, and this is where we get it wrong most times. You cannot pray to God and don't expect an answer. When you pray to God, expect an answer. So if I bring his tithe before him, I should expect him to tell me what to do with it. If he doesn't tell me what to do with it, then what should I do? What will I do then? The only way I can be assured in my heart that he has received it is when he tells me what to do with it. So what I'm sharing with you is not just um, try and error stuff. I'm telling you the sure way. So, so I told this brother what to do and he, he, he left. And then two days later, I saw him and I'm like, Pastor, I did what you told me to do and I got an instant miracle. How? He said, I obeyed. I went back home. I took the money I had on me and I went before the Lord and God instructed me who I should sow the money into. And then I gave the person the money and then I got calls for a job and I received, he told me the amount of money he received in one day. I said, well, you have started. Don't relent where your tithing is concerned. That has God for you. These things are so simple. That when you see people struggling, you wonder, why are you struggling? This thing is so simple. So, you've not been taking your tithing seriously. Or, or I, I hope you didn't believe those people telling you that tithing is not important. They are wicked. Ah, it's, you know, I remember a few weeks ago, Sprogo was talking to me about tithing. Now, now, this is something, sometimes I think... I know so much about Titan. And then he now comes and starts talking to me about it. And I'm like, whoa, I didn't know this, but praise God. Yeah. And, and, and when he was sharing these things with me, and that's part of the things I'm sharing with you now. And then he said, he, he told me, I'm like, and I went, Lord, those people are really wicked. You see, if you're ignorant about something, remain ignorant about it. The best you can do for yourself, try and get knowledge where that thing is concerned. Don't speak until you don't speak your ignorance because you will hurt a lot of people. You know, when he was listening to me, I, I, I began to see how man, how Titan is, is too, huh, I'm not, I don't know how to, which word to qualify it, that is greater than importance. Because I remember the first book I wrote, you know, the, the word that came to me, Titan is a must, it's not an option. And I'm sharing tithing with you not because anybody needs your money. It's not even your money. It's God's money. The tithe is God's money. I'll talk to you about that, you know, one of these days. Why, why, am, I, why am I emphasizing on tithing? Why am I not talking about offerings and seed sowing? Why am I emphasizing on tithing? I'll tell you one of these days, this week. And, and so, you, you, if you've not been tithing before, you need to repent. I'm telling you, you need to repent. Because those people who told you not to tight, they are cheating you. I told you one time that anyone who's standing against tithing is simply walking by the spirit of the Antichrist. What does it mean, the spirit of the Antichrist? A spirit is communicating with them or they allow themselves to be listening to a spirit that is anti-Christ. That is not in line with the teachings of Christ. So you take that and you know why you see they think they are trying to be honest when they tell because in their mind the church is collecting your tithe so um they see they see the church they don't see the god who commanded titan in the first place so because there are many complaints oh churches that they take your tithe they use your tithe to build 
churches they, to buy expensive things for themselves and things like that. Listen, number one, that's not your business. Your business is supposed to concentrate and understand what God commanded us to do. When you understand that, then you don't have a problem with anybody. So because their eyes, they, they, they lacked understanding. And so they were looking at the subject of tithing from the wrong perspective. And then they begin to fight it. Meanwhile, God instituted tithing because his, his, his mindset and his promise was to bring the blessing of God to every family of the earth. All the families of the earth. That was God's intention. And, and, and because of lack of understanding, you, you wake up and say, Tightening is not important. In fact, if you still, no, people even go as far as saying, if you still tight, your head is not correct. It's you that is saying your head is not correct. That your own head needs to be examined. Because you lack understanding. You don't know what you're talking about. So you take out that tight. Now, if you've not been tightened, I say the first thing you must do now is to repent. And the money you have received now, start today. Take out the tight from it. If you've already taught, I said that's the first thing because if it's not the first thing, then it's not a thing of honor anymore. So you take out that tithe and then you go before the Lord. You say, Lord, if you're repenting, you repent. Say, Lord, I repent. I've been disobedient to your word where tithe is concerned. And, and not just that I've been disobedient, I have been stealing from you. Because God actually said, will a man rob God? It's robbery. When you don't tithe, you are robbing God. But does God need the money? Yes, he needs it. And how does he take it? That's what I'm sharing with you. I'm sharing with you how he takes it. How no, does God receive it? He receives it. He didn't know. You see, that's your problem. You think the church receives the money. No, God receives the money. How does God? That's, be patient. Listen to what I'm teaching you now. So you take your tithe before him and say, Lord, have mercy on me. I've, I've, I've been disobedient and I've been stealing from you. I repent today, Lord. Have mercy on me. And Lord, here is your money. Here is your tithe. Can you lead me to where you want this sent right now? Can you direct me on who to give this to? Now I said the tools that are important is your tithe or your money, your seed. Your income. That money in your hand now. Number two, the voice of God, which is very important. If you don't hear the voice of God, I can boldly tell you, your Christianity is questionable. Very questionable. Because I don't know what you're saved unto. So we need to work on that. But you see, you don't have a problem with God speaking to you. You have a problem with understanding his voice. So even now, if you do it, you'll be amazed. That you will hear the voice of God. So Lord, what do you want me to do with this money? And Lord tells you, give it to Susan so person. Now it could be anybody. And you say, look here, Lord. I said, the third thing is what? Your obedience. You don't start arguing. Oh, this is my time, Lord. Why would you tell me to give my title to, to that person? Why would you tell me to give my title? And I told you last time, you know, God can command you to give your title to one of another religion. But why? Yeah. He is God. He is God. He knows them better than you know them. You call them other religion. He knows them. He created them. He knows they are in need. So, he tells you, give it to so and so person. Give it to that pastor, give it to that church, give it to that brother, give it to that sister, whoever. And you obey him and say, Lord, thank you. I'll receive your instruction and I'll do exactly as you've commanded me to. And then you obey and give it to the person. Now, listen, when you give it to that person, guess what you are doing? You are helping God fulfill his promise to Abraham. What promise? Abraham, in your seed, 
all the families of the earth will be blessed so guess what now you are coming to this person who is a member of a family and then you say god said i should give you this money and i said god said yeah god said are you sure how did god god told you my name yes what's that the blessing has come to that family thank you lord jesus my time is up <laughs> but we're going to continue tomorrow oh father we honor you thank you for clarity thank you for clarity in our hearts for your word in jesus name amen i'll see you tomorrow bye